I loved what Martin Luther said in his 1520 work on the freedom of the Christian. One of his earlier works, uh, he talks about this idea that there is a true freedom that comes through the faith in the gospel and then there is an absence of freedom. Listen to how he says it. Anyone can clearly see how the Christian is free from all things and is over all things so that such a person requires no works at all to be righteous or saved. Instead, faith alone bestows all these in abundance. Now, if someone were so foolish as to presume to be made righteous, free, saved, and Christian through any good work, then such one would immediately lose faith along with all other good things. What he's saying is if, if you think it's Jesus plus, you, you get nothing. You get none of the benefit that Christ offers. That's, that's what he's saying. The foolishness is beautifully illustrated in that fable where a dog runs along a stream holding a piece of real meat in his mouth. When deceived by the reflection of the meat in the water, the dog tries to get it by opening its mouth and loses both the meat and the reflection. Don't you love Isn't that a beautiful... I love that illustration. He's saying that, that we... I love it. He's comparing... Uh, uh, Christians to dogs with meat in their mouth. I like that. That's a very Lutheran kind of thing to say. And he says, imagine the dog, he's running along, got a big piece of meat in his mouth. In other words, a dog is as happy as he can possibly be. But as he runs along, he runs along a very still stream and he sees the reflect, his reflection in the reflection of meat in the water. And, and because he's a dog, unlike your dogs, he's stupid I know all your dogs are very bright. You can tell the mistakes I've made in the past as a pastor, right? You know, of course, your dogs are not stupid, but this one is. Because he looks and he sees a reflection of the meat, and, and the dog thinks, I want that meat. And so he opens his mouth to get the meat that he sees in the water, and of course, the meat drops out right into the stream and is washed away, and he ain't got no meat. And I love that. Luther says that's exactly what thinking that you are contributing to your relationship with God is like. It's letting go of Christ and ending up with nothing. 